Greetings friends. As many of you may already know, I'm a loyal supporter of Michael Tellinger. And because of the popularity of one of my uploads, I have been asked many times about the accusations launched against him by Credo Mutwa and others. Please understand, under no circumstances, am I attempting to dictate anyone's perception by creating this video. I am merely sharing what I have come to know, slash realize, not to be confused, with belief. I encourage you all, to discover and learn to use, their own personal and individual interpreter, when searching for truth. What's interesting to me, regarding this issue, is when I asked the questions, and then watched Credo Mutwa, as he launched his allegations. I received the very same conclusions, slash, realizations, Michael Tellinger shares in the following interview. So for me, hearing Michael Tellinger's explanations, is simply affirming, what I already knew, thanks to the questions of some of my viewers. Here's Michael Tellinger's response. Still a few people out there that believe it, you know, that I, I stole everything I wrote about, I stole the information from other people, that I presented falsified information from South African professors in London and all these kind of nonsensical personal opinions uh, that, that, that they then go out and, 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 uh, and try and force down people's throats. So none of that is true. It's all falsified lies and they unfortunately bait people like Credo Mutwa, who uh, I must say I uh, love Credo Mutwa dearly, but he has become and, and and this is what I did not want to do. Uh, and this is why I didn't want to get sucked into the public debate. But I'm going to just say this very briefly once. Credo Mutwa, unfortunately, has been used by journalists like this or people, malicious people with malicious intent. And he's being used by others around the world. And has become almost like a, a vortex of negative energy. There is so much negative energy around Credo Mutwa. And it involves David Icke. It involves other authors, it involves other shamanic workers, and this is why I don't want to get involved and sucked into this argument, because unfortunately, it is not going to look good for Baba Credo Mutwa, because he will be, he will not be as squeaky clean as people think he is, and I don't want to be the bearer of that news. So, so, so if I can say this, for, for anyone out there who's, still has any possible doubts about this. The reason I don't want to get sucked into a public debate about this, and you can use this clip, cut it out, and share it with people if you want, because I don't want to be the bearer of bad news or negative news about Baba Kreda Mutwa, and he is not as clean as you think, and that's where I'm going to leave it. It's going to drag a lot of very famous authors and people who carry a lot of respect into this, and it's going to reflect really badly on Baba Kreda. I don't want to be the bearer of that news, and I think that's where we should just leave it.